Hi guys, and welcome to the 500 sub special update video. Uh, this is a follow-on from the 500 sub uh, special video. Uh, it's also a follow-on from the 500 sub special stream last Saturday. Uh, on that stream, I played every single premium tank, gave out a bunch of prizes during the stream, and I gave you guys an opportunity to win some prizes on YouTube. Uh, so most of those have been sent out, but there are a couple of problems, and I'll go into those later on in the uh, video. Uh, but this is one of the games that was played on that stream. It was me in the T-34-3 and uh, I did see some comments during the stream that this was probably one of the better games I played that day uh, but it was a really really good day a really really good stream I may not have been on form but you guys were comments were really really flying through and uh, lots and lots of new viewers and subscribers so a appreciate it. Uh, really, 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 I do appreciate it. Um, so we're just going to play this, and um, I'll be pausing the game now and again. Um, but we had a very, very successful day, and uh, as I say, lots of prizes given out during the day. So uh, while this video is rolling, um, I'm just going to be bringing up all of those guys who won uh, free Steam keys for free games on... Uh, the channel or on the screen as you're watching so congratulations to all of those guys too many to name so I'm just going to be scrolling their uh, names across the screens the, uh, the screen you can see I'm doing this live and I'm still tired uh, yeah so that was a little fail ran into the uh, RT but it wouldn't be one of my games if I didn't fail a little bit so uh, I want to be aggressive I'm in a T-34-3 which is not one of my favorite tanks but I've been getting better. I've uh, taken some advice from Beyond D, who plays this tank quite well, and I've been playing and doing a lot better in this tank. Uh, the trick is, ignore its stats and don't play it like a medium tank. Uh, but, moving on. So, uh, yeah, congratulations to all those guys who uh, won games on stream. Their names are appearing on the screen as we're watching this, and... Uh, some really, really good games given out. I hope you guys enjoy them. Um, some games I don't know anything about. I did give away some games I don't own. Uh, but I'm big into indie games. So I gave away a lot of indie games. Uh, but there are uh, also a couple of other prizes to give away. The prizes to you guys who are watching on YouTube. So uh, while I'm faffing around and not doing anything right now, I am going to pause the video right now. So here are the results from the Saturday stream. I played every premium tank in my garage to its daily double, or daily triple as it was. But as you can see, there are 48 premium tanks in my garage. It took me 90 games to get the uh, times 3 or the times 2 in every single tank. And I wasn't playing that well. My WN8 was way down, my average tier was way down because of the premium tanks, and uh, my win rate, which is usually around 60-62%, was down around 53.3, so not a fantastic game, I was off form, and I do apologize for that, but I have to uh, thank you guys for sticking with me throughout that stream, regardless of how I was playing. Um, but we ended up earning a total of 2,255,079 credits with that particular stream so 48 premium tanks I earned this many credits and unfortunately a lot of them were tier twos and threes so that figure was probably a little bit lower than I was hoping for but uh, still a really really nice total and it goes quite some way to getting my next uh, tier 10 tank and uh, there were a lot of guesses there were a lot of guesses in fact the winner the person who guessed closest to this figure guessed three days prior to the stream and was only 5,000 credits away from the actual total. Really, really close guess. So uh, that to that particular person, congratulations. Um, you have won yourself a T25 tank. There were also another couple of really, really close guesses that were about 100,000 out. They all guessed around the 2.4 million mark, uh, or slightly less than 2.4 million, and they've won themselves some games. Now, I have contacted almost every single player who, uh, or every single person who voted on these uh, 
videos and there's a problem and we'll bring this up here and as you can see here's the 500 sub special video and there are uh, 70 comments on this particular video. I don't know where it says 70, but there, oh, there we go. All comments 70. Now, I've gone to newest first. I've gone for top comments. Um, I've posted all the winners at the, uh, in this particular video here. And, uh, here are all the winners that were streaming across the stream, or the screen while we were playing that game. Uh, Bringy won the T25 Premium Tank while on stream. Um, <laughs> I know he's a platoon mate, I know I know him, but that's just the way it worked out. He guessed the correct amount of damage I did in the Super Pershing for that uh, particular win, so, um, not fixed. It was all done live, you guys saw what happened, and I wasn't playing to try and get the same damage as he did, or his a guest. I missed some shots, bounced some shots, so, uh, but anyway, well done, Bringy, and well done to everyone else who has actually won games on the stream. Uh, the 500 sub-special winners are here as well, Fi final credit total is here, and the winners are the T25 Premium Tank is Dunbar520, who had a guess of 2.25 million, just literally about 5,000 credits away from the uh, actual total. So congratulations Dunbar520, you've won yourself a premium tank. Uh, the next closest guesses were um, Sergeant Pepper 2000, who guessed with 2.4 million. He wins the Tropico collection, which is Tropico 1, Tropico 2, and Tropico 3 Steam Special Edition with all the DLC. Tropico 3 with all the DLC Steam Special Edition is one of my favorite games of all time. Tropico is okay, Tropico 2 probably not great, but Tropico 3 is an absolutely amazing game, and I have sunk hundreds and hundreds of hours into that game game, especially with all the DLC. So uh, congratulations, really, really hope you enjoy the Tropico collection, Sergeant Pepper 2000. Uh, Hard Reset is a FPS, it's an old school FPS game. Uh, I'm playing, it's actually installed on my hard drive at the moment. Really, really difficult, but nice graphics, really, really nice game, and I'm enjoying it. And I decided to give away a copy of Hard Reset as a result, and it was won by Crotro4444. So uh, he wasn't that far out, he was only about a hundred. Uh, are a couple of hundred thousand away from the uh, final guess, so uh, congratulations to Quattro4444. I have sent that Steam key to you in uh, private messages, so uh, I hope you enjoy Hard Reset. And um, I decided, you know what, I've got one, one game left. I've got a, a code for another free game left. So I entered everyone who entered into the comments on this video. I put them all into a hat. I drew out a name at random. And this guy, Sebastian McLatzina, won a free copy of Postal simply for commenting on this video. So anyone who commented was put into a hat and uh, Sebastian actually won. So he gets a uh, free Steam copy of Postal. But, as I say, there's a problem. Um, 70 comments on this video, and... Some of them have disappeared. Um, I've gone through all of these comments again and again and again, and that's it. That's it. Um, a pile of comments have disappeared. I don't know why, I don't know where. Uh, and it's really, really unfortunate that the very guys who actually won have disappeared. Um, so I know their YouTube names. Um, I haven't put up their YouTube names here because I don't want anyone uh, trying to claim these prizes as a result. But uh, what I would appreciate is basically Dunbar520. If you could get in touch with me again, um, just post on this video and I will be able to tell whether or not it was the original guy who uh, made the prediction. I will then be able to send you your T25 premium tank, but at the moment your comment has disappeared and I don't know why. Uh, YouTube.
Uh, really, really unfortunate that Sergeant Pepper 2000 has disappeared as well. Really, really want, want to send you that Tropico collection, but your comment is just not here. I have not deleted any. I have not removed any. It has just disappeared for some reason. I have no idea. So uh, if you gain, I know what your original Steam post was, or your original YouTube post was. Um, I know your original username. So if you could actually uh, comment on this video again, I will get in touch and send you that Steam key for the Tropico collection collection. Fantastic prize. Really, really love that game. And also, Postal, Sebastian, I miss, I'm missing your comment as well. That comment has completely disappeared. No idea where it is and uh, pain in the ass. But uh, if you could again post under this video, uh, I will know it's you and I will send you a free Steam key for uh, the Postal video game. Um, really really sucks that it worked out this way uh, of the four winners from the YouTube channel three of their comments have disappeared I cannot find them and um, I have done nothing to get rid of them uh, apparently this is a problem that's been suffering uh, a lot of different youtubers have been suffering I've been reading a lot of comments for some reason they're just disappearing and no idea why. So again, congratulations to you guys. Uh, Sergeant Pepper 2000, Dunbar 520 and Sebastian, if you guys could comment on this video, I will get in touch with your prizes. Uh, apologies, I have not done so before now, but yeah, I just can't, can't get in touch with you guys. So uh, really, really sorry about that. Uh, but hopefully you'll watch this video and I will get those things out to you as soon as possible. In the meantime, absolutely everyone else has been sent a message. Everyone else has received their prize. And I want to say congratulations to all of you. Thank you so much for subbing. Thank you so much for watching and making Saturday a really, really good day, even though I was under the weather and not playing particularly well. Uh, you guys made it worthwhile, so appreciate it. And I'm just going to be playing this game. Now, as I say, uh, when I was playing this game, um, after the game, there were a lot of comments that that was the best game of the stream so far. Um, it was okay. It was alright. Um, the thing about the T-34-3 is I haven't brought you this tank on the channel before. Because I don't like it. I think it's an absolutely terrible tank. I think it's very, very difficult to play. And I find uh, I'm having a lot of problems getting good games in this tank. Uh, it's a medium tank that is quite slow. It is quite sluggish. And while it does have really, really good turret armor, it has no hull armor, it has a really, really inaccurate gun, and uh, really, really long aim time, no gun depression, and there's very little to like about this tank. In fact, the only two positives are the fact it has a lot of turret armor, and the fact that uh, it has really, really nice alpha damage. But as you can see, the reload is 12.15, it's not accurate, and it's a Chinese gun, which means that the penetration really, really drops off at distance, and you tend to miss a lot of shots or bounce a lot of shots. Uh, so not a fun tank to play, but I have been getting a lot better in it. And uh, the biggest advice, if you happen to own this tank, first of all, if you happen to own this tank, I'm sorry, but uh, also uh, the biggest advice I was given and the advice that seems to be working out for me is use this tank as an assassin. Um, use it as a sniper even though it's not a sniper. Uh, engage tanks from distance. You don't have the reload, you don't have the speed, and you don't have the accuracy or the penetration to be able to deal, up, uh, deal with tanks up close and personal. So uh, try and keep your distance and do try and snipe and have lots of HE loaded because uh, Sometimes there are, a, well actually a lot of the time there are tanks that you will come up against that you simply cannot penetrate with your AP ammo. Uh, the 75 or 175 millimeters of uh, penetration on the AP ammo has major problems going through a lot of tier 8s and definitely has problems going through tier 9s. So uh, again, taking a lot of advice from other people on this tank and uh, I want to thank Beyond D for uh, showing me that the tank is capable of playing good games, but you just have to uh, go against your instincts and play against... <laughs> play it basically so as if it's not a medium tank, or play it as if it's a tank without any armor. Um, so, yeah, we're just here, and it's a very, very boring game. Uh, we're te our team are actually winning 6-5.
And I'm just faffing around. Most of our team are camped in the corner of the map. Enemy team seem to be very hesitant. There we go. Nice 420 alpha damage. So most of the enemy team seem to be quite hesitant about advancing as well, but they are advancing up through the forest, and our team are basically stuck in this corner. Now, I'd love to say you can be aggressive in this tank, but you can't really. It's quite difficult. You really, really need to be uh, off the front line. Trying to get an angle on these guys, but as you can see, the gun depression on this tank is bloody awful. So I take a risk, I push up here, I'm waiting to be spotted. And again, I've got the front of this Tiger P, and there's nothing, nothing I can shoot and hit and penetrate, so... Go for a uh, shot on the side of his turret, and of course didn't have much to aim at, but it misses because it's not an accurate gun. So uh, I was spotted, don't have six cents on this tank, I don't think, and... There's a Super Pershing moving up to my left. Oh, I do have six cents, never mind. I take a hit from the K or from the super pershing miss a shot on the weak spot on the KV5 this is just such an inaccurate gun so going for the weak spot trying to get shots on this super pershing and the shot goes high so you cannot cannot shoot without aiming it's so difficult to hit things in this tank without fully aiming but as i say you've got really really good turret armor i've just bounced the IS so i'm trying to stay hull down as much as i can there is arty on the enemy team. And I've done next to no damage. It's possible some of my blind shots have gone in, but I don't have gun depression. So, Tiger 2 is advancing on their Tiger 2, and I decide I'm going to do some flanking because I don't want to face these guys head on. So our Tiger takes out their Tiger. I'm focused on this IS. Need to get the gun depression. Get a nice shot in. Roll low. Leave him on two health. 381 damage on that tank. I could have easily killed him. I think it's fixed. The amount of time you leave tanks on low health, um, I really, really do think it's fixed. So uh, anyway, yeah. I can't get my gun down to get shots on the Tiger P. And in the meantime, this Super Pershing has moved up, so... I haven't done a lot in this game. Really haven't done a lot. It really is a tank I don't like very much. But we move in on the Super Pershing. And I've actually got to stop and aim. Move in close. Because I really, even a shot at that distance, could not risk missing it. So uh, I took a risk. Gonna get shot by the Tiger P. And now there's a KV-3 advancing in the north, so want to go up and as long as the enemy team are advancing into our cap one by one then we can take them out so we're actually winning 11 10 Churchill 3 takes out the gun carrier or sorry the uh, KV-3 takes out the gun carrier but again it's an assassin so uh, used a premium shell because I didn't want to uh, miss that shot we take him out for kill number two And I know that the Tiger P was last spotted in the middle, and the T-69 was last spotted in the forest, so... I'm switching to HE because I know the Tiger P is on low health. I'm not going to risk bouncing. And again, this I'm just following advice. Um, the biggest advice I was given, and the most successful advice I was given for the T-34-3 was don't be afraid to uh, load up HE, don't be afraid to uh, load up uh, when tanks are on low health or when tanks uh, can't be penetrated because no d or low damage with HE is better than no damage at all. So I was waiting for this Tiger P. T-69 advances and takes out our uh, Crusader SP. S-51 takes out our T-25-2, so now it's 12-13. And we are actually losing, so I go for a blind shot with the HE ammo, switch back to AP. And I'm thinking that this Tiger P is probably advancing. But I want to go take care of this T-69, so... Ah, uh, bugger. Okay, so I got spotted, but I do not want to be surrounded. If I go for the Tiger P, I'm going to be flanked by the T-69. 
So go for a snapshot before being fully aimed, and as you can see, this is just not an accurate gun. So I'm not going to engage the Tiger P. Uh, it's uh, two versus three, one RT and two tanks, and I do not want to uh, be surrounded and be shot from both sides. So I made a decision, need to take care of one of these tanks. Get quite lucky, fire on the move, take out the T-69 for uh, kill number three. And now it's uh, I'm in a much, much better position because the Tiger P is a one-hit kill. And he's just been spotted in the middle. So 12.15 reload time. Really, really uh, need to judge this. Switching to HE. Okay. Two seconds, one second. And there we go. 106 damage. That's all you need to do with the HE. RT left, so I'm sticking to the HE. But uh, in the meantime, uh, basically it's 1v1. Uh, so I'm on 4 kills, 1600, 1700 damage. Maybe more damage with some of those blind shots that did go in. But uh, yeah, enemy RT S51 is a good player. So initially I'm thinking, you know what, he's probably south. So I've got to sit in this bush and ambush him. And then I think, you know what, no, that's so obvious. That is so obvious. That is really, really obvious to be sitting in a bush with a wreck. So I advance into the open, and there we go, exactly as predicted. Um, I thought RT would fire on that position because it was so obvious, and he did. So now that he's actually fired at that position, it's very, very unlikely he's going to fire again. So this is probably the safest place in the cap right now. RT fired and missed, so um, he probably assumes that uh, I've, I'm elsewhere, and that he's going to be uh, firing more shots in here. So I'm just sitting and waiting, there's uh, three minutes left of this game and it's only going to take me two and a half minutes to cap. So if Artie wants to win, he's got to come to me. Gonna speed it up. So I'm expecting him to come from the south because that seemed to be where uh, the shot came from. But again, I'm uh, telling the viewers on stream that this guy is not blind firing, he's reloaded. He should have been able to fire into the camp again by now, but he's not capping. So you can see I'm waving over to my left and I'm telling the guys he's going to come from the left. He hasn't fired into the cap because he wants his gun loaded and he's going to come from my left. But I'll hang here till I reckon he's about ready. I'm predicting he's uh, probably moving up the 3-4 uh, lines to flank me. So I'm going to wait till I reckon he's close to the cap. In the meantime, yep, yeah, there we go. In the meantime, I was looking south just in case, so I've predicted that he's probably reached this area about now. So I'm pre-aiming, got my HE loaded, and there we go. So one shot in, do 350 damage, secure the game with five kills. Uh, really, really uh, nice end to the game. Really, really bad slow start, but uh, we did pick up towards the end. and. Basically, the ammo choices and playing this tank like an assassin seem to be how the T-34-3 is working out for me. Um, tank I'm having a lot of problems playing, but after getting some advice from Beyond D, thank you Beyond, um, I'm actually doing a little bit better in this tank, and it's still a terrible tank, but uh, at least it's playable now. So while we finish the game strongly and we managed to secure it, it this game probably sums up the stream. Um, it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't very good either. And that's pretty much how the day went. I was really, really off form, but I did have fun and it was great seeing so many people in the uh, chat window. Uh, so time, our second class, uh, Ace Tanker, uh, didn't even come first, came second on XP, just barely the Hellcat beat me to it by 4 XP, but tier 6 shooting tier 8 tanks is always going to earn a lot more XP than a tier 8 shooting tier 8s and lower. Uh, 2,397 damage, 5 kills, uh, fired 16, hit 9, penned 8, the gun is terrible on this tank, uh, even when you do make ammo choices like switching between premium and HE, depending on what's in front of you. 2 spotted, 7 damage, 5 to 
destroyed and 116 assistance damage with 68 base, base cap points. I uh, earned 59,000 credits for that game with a premium account and yes it's a tier 8 premium so you're going to earn money no matter how good or how bad the game is. Uh, but anyway that's it. I would like to thank all you guys again. It was uh, really really nice seeing such a big response to the 500 sub special uh, video. Always really really nice seeing so many people tuning in on Saturday. It was a monster stream, 11 and a half hours, and I didn't take any breaks. So, uh, man, I am still recovering. I am still tired. Uh, but anyway, thank you again. Uh, congratulations to all the uh, competition winners. Hope you really, really enjoy your games, and I hope you enjoy your premium tanks. I am sorry that YouTube is being a little bit of a... a uh, Biatch right now, and um, if you guys who won but uh, whose comments have been removed could get back in touch with me, I'll check them against the uh, versions of your names from the original comments and uh, be able to get those prizes out to you. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.